welcome back to Undertale. I had to kind of replay through some of it because I had actually played ahead a little bit and for some strange reason the recorder didn't work. So I'm going to do this again, okay? I was trying to go through all of this without looking through any guidelines because that's actually the point of my gaming channel to go through all these games without ever having to look at any type of references or YouTube Let's Plays. I want to just journey into the unknown here. So, let's get started with this battle tutorial, shall we? Because I had been told before that you can get through this with just talking. So, let's try it again, okay? Because I just did it once, and I'm going to do it again for you guys. Prove yourself. Prove to me you have strong enough to survive. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Okay, we're going to talk to her. And just try our very, very best to dodge all of her attacks. Because they have a certain pattern that you can follow. Tried to think of something to say, but... You know how that goes whenever... It's about to get very awkward. Cannot believe how long I've been playing this game. It's been pl I've been playing for about an hour and a half now. But actually, this run took me ten minutes. Because I knew what to do. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution. Okay, out. Ironically, talking doesn't seem to be the solution to this situation. So we may have to do this a couple of times, guys, just because, like, this is my second run through of this. Ah, oh, dang. Ironically, talking doesn't seem to be the solution in this situation. Shit, I know the pattern. Ah! I'm going to lose because... Eat the spider donut, recover 12 HP. Because I know her attacks have, like, see, like, there is a rhythm to it. Ironically, talking to. Yes, it is the solution. I know it's the solution. Because I'm a pacifist. Crap. Damn it, leave me alone. Oh! These attacks are just so ridiculous. I'm going to die. Over 10 HP. Ooh, that one was ridiculous. Ironically, talking doesn't seem to be the solution. Because, um, the frogs had said something before, remember, about, um, basically, you could spare people without their name turning yellow. So I'm thinking that that could be the solution here. Sorry for skipping the text a lot. Let me try to get back on track here. Just want to make sure that I have this down. Toriel takes a deep breath. We're just going to keep giving her mercy. We're not going to bother to even hit her at all, and talking is not the solution. So, the one solution there is, is mercy. Toriel looks through you. She's wondering what we're doing. She's looking through us again. What are you doing? Toriel prepares a magical attack, attack or run. Toriel looks through you. Ah, Toriel is acting aloof. What are you proving this way? Damn it, I keep getting hit. Fight me or leave. Why do I keep getting hit? I know how to dodge these attacks. Takes a deep breath. Stop it. Ah! This is ridiculous! Toriel looks through you. We're just going to keep sparing her. And supposedly, if you do that, it could get you through the battle. I want my spider donut, damn it. Cover 12 HP. Ugh, fuck, I keep getting hit for some reason. Talking isn't the solution. I keep pressing buttons by mistake because I want to get back to where I was before. Ugh, sorry, guys. Go away. 
I'd be glad to if you just let me go, bitch. Toriel looks through me. Period, period, period. Ah, uh, Toriel is active aloof. Now she's not even hitting me. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Is it not? Can't even save a single child. No. I understand. You'd just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It wouldn't be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I'll not stop you. However, when you leave, please, do not come back. I hope you understand. Huggle. I will remember you! Goodbye, my child. Okay, before we go, though, I'm going to go save, and then I'm going to see if my camera's working properly, so that way I can make sure I don't have a repeat of all of that, okay? Alright, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure everything was working properly, because I've been having difficulties with this all day. So what we're going to do is we're going to go save. Alright. Let's save, and let's head on out, guys, okay? That was a really difficult battle. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay, so back through the doors. It's a very long walk. Like, I had played through this before and saved after Toriel's battle, so I basically just had to replay that battle two times, so I'm a little bit frustrated at the moment. Let's see what's behind the doors, guys. Long hallways. I don't like this. Okay. Oh, it's that thing again. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed, so you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future! Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Hmm. <laughs> That's some creepy shit right there. So I take it that the flower is the main villain. Am I right? Yeah, well, either way, let's continue. Through this thingy. Hee hee hoo hoo. The light. Undertale. Damn it, Google, leave me alone. Shit, keep spamming me. By Toby Fox. Whoever you are, sir. Thank you so much for creating a wonderful game like this. Okay, let's not touch anything with the full screen, because that's the problem that I had last time. Ooh, is this a boulder? There's a camera in the bushes! What?! Somebody wants to film something. 
Okay, um... I guess we just keep walking. Hmm. Seems to be a long hallway. Huh! That wasn't broken before. Huh! Okay, you guys saw that, right? <sighs> okay. Bitch, better not be following me. Continue walking. La 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 la. And this thing. What is this? Ugh. Shadowy figure. Human. Skeleton. Heh. The old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? Pfft. You turn around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? Well, I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Well, I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. No, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey! Actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick! Behind that conveniently shaped lamp! <laughs> that's actually quite convenient. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother! It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool! You wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I wanna be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm... Uh, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You're not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I got a ton of work to do today. A skeleton? <laughs> I like this guy. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! Ugh. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, you can come out now. Talk to him again. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you will have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> That's great. Actually, uh, hey. I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. No worry, 
He's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Sorry if I change voices, I just like this voice better. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. It's over here. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Ooh, sounds like a hot dog stand. I don't really like hot dogs since I'm a vegetarian, but... Ooh, excuse me, guys, I have a gas bubble. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Yeah. Seriously, that was a little too convenient, don't you think, guys? Alright, let's see what we got here. Use the box. Yes, sir. Ooh. Stick. Cool. Alright, we got a new weapon, apparently. Even though I know I'm not- Oh! Snow Drake flutters forth. Snow Drake, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Mm, macaroni and freeze. <laughs> this is a new enemy, so I don't know. Snow Drake is <laughs> realized his name is a pun and is freaking out. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? <laughs> Dad was wrong! No, Drake is pleased with its cool joke. You won! You earned 12 experience and 12 gold. Cool. What's over here? No. Let's see, hold on. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. That's probably the most real love letter I've ever read in my life. Ugh! Ice cap struts into view. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Why that's too loud for me to hear you. Ooh. Ooh. It's snowing dandruff. Steel? Try to steal Ice Cap's hat. It's not weakened enough. I knew it! Thief! Oh, shit. Snowing dandruff. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that has a great hat. Duh! Who doesn't know? God, this sounds like a total hipster. Ouch! Shit. Ice Cap is thinking about a certain article of clothing. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Ice Cap makes sure its hat is still there. Steal. Try to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Help, fashion police! Ooh. That attack does a ton of damage. Ate the spider donut, recovered 12 HP. Where's your hat? I don't have one. What if I ignored it? You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat up. My hat's up here. Oh, okay. I think I'm supposed to ignore it first. Okay. I take it that this Ice Cap thing is a hipster. Secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. You inform Ice Cap that has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me. Then why are you wearing it? Ah! What the hell? Okay. Ice Cap is secretly checking. Steal. Try to steal Ice Cap's hat. Not weakened enough. Ice Cap is secretly checking. I'm leaving. Screw this. Alright, let's go up here. Fish! What's this? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. 
Yas. Oh, that's attached as a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me! Here's my number! You decide not to call. <laughs> you send the line back out. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. Let's see what happens now. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me! Here's my number. Nah. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can find over here. Ice cap struts into view. I'm gonna ignore it. <sighs> I don't know what to do with those things. So, as I was saying about Undyne. What is going on? <laughs> Sounds! Oh my god, is that a human? Um. Uh. Actually, I think that's a rock! Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Zans, finally I did it! Gundyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 <coughs> human, you shall not pass this area! Why, the great papyrus will stop you! I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that went well. <sighs> Don't sweat it. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Let me go save real quick, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Let's go. Okay, this is the most annoying enemy ever, so I'm just gonna keep. Ah, uh, I don't care about your damn hat. Ugh. La 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 la. What the hell? Snow Drake flutters forth. Check. Snow Drake, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not send a flake out. Ooh. Crap. Snow Drake smiling at its own bad joke. Dang it, I keep I keep running into the attacks. <sighs> Sorry guys that I have to keep going back and healing. I wanna be able to do this without dying. Alright, let's go guys. Snow Drake flutters forth, I give zero, but whatever. Let's see <laughs> Fights you in cold blood. Practicing a sex pun. And lap at so Drake's pun. Thanks, you're all great. Does he think he has an audience besides me? <laughs> I like this thing. It's funny. Alright. I think my roommate's home. Say hi to roommate! I'm playing Undertale. I can see that. I'm like, confused though. This game is weird. I had to replay twice. I'm so mad. Let's see, there's some narration to this cardboard box. 
you observe the World Craft and Sanctuary Station. Who could have built this? You pondered. Well, I bet it was that very famous Royal Guardsman. No, not yet a famous Royal Guardsman. You like the voice I gave him? <laughs> Ice cap struts into view. I don't know how to beat this thing. Just keep running away, cause fuck this guy. It's kind of hard to escape from, though. You know the ice cap, the one that's like, I like my hat. I got better to do. Did something move? Or was it my imagination? I could only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll be sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Oh my. Doggo! Attack 13, defense 7, easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. <laughs> Ugh, sorry, that was funny. Let's see, don't move an inch. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet doggo. <laughs> woof woof woof. What? I've been pet. Pet 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 pet. pet. Doggo has been pet. You won! I earned 30 gold. Sweet. Something pet me. Something that isn't m moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? No? Alrighty then. Guess we just move on. Ugh, it's him again. Hey, uh, there's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep that in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, Think about blue stop signs. Alright, keep that in mind. Cool. Ah! Ice. What is this? Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Aww, oh, poor thing. North ice, south ice, west ice, east snowed in town. And ice. <laughs> That's funny. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun, because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Well, okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Shlans, what did you do? Uh, I think the human has to hold, has to hold the orb. Whoa, uh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Uh, 
I don't see why I couldn't have just gone. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be so easy. It's designed by my brother Sans! You will surely be confounded. I know I am! <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, thanks. My brother seems to seems like he's having fun. Oh, by the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for our costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Was that sarcasm? <laughs> now I just feel bad. Oh my God, I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh! A customer! Hello! Would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15G. Here you go. Have some soup a super duper day. Let me buy a couple more of these. Just so I can have some supplies. Excuse me, guys. I'm a bit gassy in the attic. What is this? Snowball! Oh. I think I see what I have to do. So hard. Ah, what do I do, guys? Okay, now I go like that. And Yay! Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You were awarded 2G. Cool. Whoa! Oh, I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. <laughs> fried snow. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Really? Haha. <laughs> I don't have any snow. <laughs> I like that guy. He's cool. His. Smell danger rating. Snow smell snowman while rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all cost. Hers. His. Hmm. Okay, I guess I don't to... It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decatron. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. Human, I hope you're ready for Sans Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Um, hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Okay, so, uh, let's see, uh, guess we just do the word search. How do I... Shams, I didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. My opinion? Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? It's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human. Solve this dispute. 
Which is harder? You two are weird! Crosswords are so easy! <coughs> it's the same solution every time! No, it's not. Just fill in all the boxes with the letter Z! Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is... <laughs> All I can do is store. Oh god. I like these guys. <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> Alright, guys. Knowing the mouse might one day find its way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. Alright, guys, we have played for quite a while now, so let's try to see if we can save our game here, okay? Thank you. Okay, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly shaped again by the great papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to say one more time just to make sure that it works. And like and favorite this video if you wish, if you like what you see. And you can also go ahead and subscribe and join this small little community so that way you can keep up with all the episodes I publish. If you have any suggestions or if you just want to talk to me, go ahead and comment in the box below and I'd be happy to oblige for you guys. On that note, thank you so much for watching, and I bid you farewell. Toodaloo!